this hallway makeover series began with some paint and wallpaper, now it's time for me to bring out my tools and get my hands dirty. Stay tuned to the end to see the partially finished hallway. All right, so I'm at my favorite place right now, my second home. My first home, you guys already know, is Ikea. My second home is... <laughs> I don't know if you can see that orange in there, but that's Home Depot. And I'm going to be looking for some wood for that trim for that second floor hallway area. Hopefully I find the kind of wood that I'm looking for or what I want. I specifically am looking also for pole wrap. So I'm hoping I can find some and buy it and take it home today. But if I don't, not a big deal. I'll just get everything else I need. And then I also might get a paint sample too because we will be painting the walls. So let's go in. So I'm in Home Depot and I'm trying to be low key so no one like sees me filming because there's a lot of people in here. But I got all the boards that I need for the project and then I just have to find um, pole wrap. And I typically never know where it is so we're gonna go find it. finally back home from Home Depot and we got all the materials that we need. Also, I wish y'all told me that pole wrap was expensive for like a little strip of it. Like, I was like, what the heck? $80 for this thing? But it's fine. It is what it is, whatever. So I got all of this. Those are my slats for the board and batten. Then I got the pole wrap for that top trim. And then probably I'll have to go back to Home Depot and get like actual trim so it's like has that professional look to it and then once i figure out what paint sample i want i will go back to the store and get me a half a gallon of that color i can't wait to work on this wall we're not going to do it um this weekend because it's ryan and i's anniversary so i'm really going to try not to work i might do some prep work like putting some paint on the wall or not paint figure out how everything's going to be laid out and then after that we will we will work on the wall throughout the week next week i get a longer weekend so i have a lot more time to work in this wall which i'm really really excited about so but back home and <sighs> time to just make dinner and relax and eat Cause I don't wanna be just friends 
camera, I went ahead and taped up the wall based off of where I thought that the boards would look best. Ryan helped with the measurements and he does a better job at it. So he went ahead and marked off about four and a half inches between each of the spaces. And then I went ahead and put tape on the walls just to kind of mark where I would think each board should go and the sizing of the cut and everything like that. Also, we marked up the walls of marked up the wall of where each board needs to go and what length of board needs to be used so when I'm doing the cuts we'll have that ready to go. I also marked where I am thinking of putting the pull wrap on the wall. So, wanted to really see the full length of the design and making sure that it looks good in this hallway because like I said this hallway is really small so I don't want to do anything that's going to make it look even smaller but with what we have up right now I do like the measurements I do like how this is coming along and we'll have to move into doing the cuts and the wall that I'm staring at right here this wall is the more intricate wall which will be um, done last. I also need to show you guys the paint samples and the colors and we'll have to see which one uh, makes sense to use in this hallway. I don't want something too dark because I don't want it to make the hallway look smaller. So I made sure that the I, the picture that we we're going to use makes sense for this kind of space. I'm in the basement today which means we're going to do some cutting of some of the wood that we have for this wall project, okay? I will also give you guys another opportunity to pick the wall choice. I have an idea of what wall choice we will be going with but I will still give you guys an opportunity to choose as well. So the three different colors are going to be on the screen right now and I want you guys in the comments below comment what color you think will make sense for this wall and I will also give you guys a chance to pick the color on Instagram. So I'm going to be doing another poll again. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, please follow me, answer the poll and help me pick the color. And Something to say, blew everybody away Wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I've been more God Oh, this thing is heavy Oh god, this thing is heavy I haven't ever told you guys before That I have this toxic trait Where I always think that I can do anything after watching like two YouTube videos. So I saw like two or three YouTube videos last night of how to use a miter saw and hopefully I don't have to make any adjustments. Exactly 36 inches. Exactly 36 inches. She could tell you the things you want to hear. She could read your mind and that she could rely on Exactly 36 inches.
kind of crazy right now, which is okay. But I was able to get all the boards cut. Ryan actually came downstairs and brought up all of the 36 inch boards. So those are waiting for me upstairs to try out on the wall. I, what I like to do is I, I like to put the boards up and then tape it down just so I can see the placement and everything like that. Seeing it with the tape is helpful because I, I get to see the design, but actually seeing the boards up helps me know if like what other materials that I need. So just by doing the tape mock-up, I was able to see that I was gonna need trim and that was something that I didn't factor into this project. So that's another thing that I have to get, which is perfectly fine. I cut all the boards for that one wall that has that um, angled baseboard. And so I cut those boards one inch taller than what I actually need for the size. That's because the one inch accounts for the angle that I need to do on the board. And so one thing that I'm gonna do to make it easier on myself, I'm just gonna take the tape and go straight all the way down on those planks and on the tape where it meets the baseboard I'm just going to slice it with like um a uh what are those things that I use for wallpaper or uh, exacto knife and cut the actual like template of it with the tape and then I'm just going to use a template on each of these boards and mark off what where it needs to be cut or where that angle cut needs to happen and that will help me make a really good equal cut for that wall. I need to cut the pull wrap. So let me show you guys what this pull wrap comes in so you know what to expect when you go to the store. This is what the pull wrap looks like. It comes in this uh, brand. I don't know what the brand is, but you see how much pull wrap I get for 80 bucks. <laughs> right now, I think we're going to Old Navy to get some matching Christmas PJs. So I, I have to go get ready for that. I'm like covered in dust right now. Good morning and good evening wherever you are. Now it's time for me to actually get started with this hallway makeover. Um, so right now I'm taking off all of the painter's tape that I put on the wall um, to kind of map out where I wanted all the boards to lay and I wanted to have a better visual of the potential of what the hallway would look like and this really helped me out and also Ryan helped with the spacing because I just could not get that right and my math was just wrong and he was really helpful with helping me helping me with that so the painter's tape really helped in that regard now right now I'm measuring all of the baseboard trim so a little trick that I wanted to mention to you guys is when you're doing board and batten and you have boards like mine so I'm using one by twos and it sticks out um, about a half an inch, or I think an inch. And that means that it will hang over the edge of my baseboards because my baseboards don't have a lip that it can sit on. And it kind of looks a little funky um, and unfinished when you don't have baseboard trim. So I went to Home Depot and bought some baseboard trim and what I ended up doing was flipping it upside down so then the board and batten or the um, one by twos would sit on a lip and not kind of hang off the wall looking incomplete. So that honestly was the quickest part of this entire process comparing to everything else I had to do. This was definitely the quickest part of the process. So right now I'm just like trying on the um, the board <laughs> and laying it on the baseboard trim to kind of see what that will look like if I was happy with what it looked like and I definitely was. Now there definitely was like a centimeter still hanging off but it looked a lot better than if I didn't have that baseboard trim there. So take me in your So now I'm going ahead and putting up the boards on the wall, which was the most exciting part. Um, and oh my gosh, when I first started doing this, I put way too much liquid nails and it starts spilling on the sides, but I'll sand that down and make it look pretty. 
So now I'm going to be quiet and let you guys enjoy the rest of the video and also jam out to the next couple songs. So I'll talk to you guys later. Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody has to let go Of the ego? Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating, I feel no good Not living life like I know I
just been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you, but I don't wanna be like you. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you, but I don't wanna be like you. 'Cause I could do, I could do better. I could do, I could do better. Today is Saturday, it's Thanksgiving weekend, and I've made a lot of progress with our hallway makeover. So this project was so difficult. It's very difficult because in our hallway, we have a lot of angles and we have a lot of like corners. I needed to learn how to cut those corners <laughs> to be able to have that seamless look. I'll be honest with you, it's not as seamless as I want it to be, but it's okay. That's what caulk is for. Once I put that caulk in there, you wouldn't even notice that there was an error. For this week's video, I showed you guys just progress of what's going on with this hallway makeover with having a full-time job and other priorities. And we have a wedding coming up. I'm not really able to work on a lot of my projects consistently as I really want to. However, progress is being done and we will get close to painting the walls pretty soon. And speaking of painting the walls, in a previous clip, I mentioned to you guys that I want to give you another chance of making a decision of what paint color we should choose. And so you'll see the three behind me, the three colors, but I'll also put them on the screen in front of us. That way you all have a chance to look at what those colors are again. In the comment box below, please let me know what color you're leaning towards and which one you really like the best. I know what color I want and Ryan knows what color we want, but I wanna see if you guys know my style and know what option that I would choose. This time, however, I will have some say in the decision that we end up making. So it's not going to be, you know, what everyone else guides me to, but your decision will influence or help, help influence or help me decide what color would make sense in this space. There's still a lot that needs to be done with this hallway makeover. We have to caulk the boards and all the trim to, you know, hide those imperfections. We still have to work on this wall. You see that the painter's tape is still on the wall. So there's still work to be done here. However, I went ahead and put the other trim that I had available. That way it motivates me to finish it because if it looks unfinished, then I'm going to be like, okay, I actually have to finish this project. This is probably one of the biggest projects I've ever done. We're talking board and bat in, in an entire hallway. And even though our hallway is not big, I still had a lot to do. So thank you for tuning in in this week's video of our hallway makeover update. There's more to come in this series, more than likely probably one or two more episodes left in the series. And then we will finally see the finished product from upstairs to downstairs. Thank you for watching this week and make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. If you are not new here, please continue to like my videos. That helps the YouTube algorithm push my videos to other people to watch. So I definitely appreciate the support. And most importantly, as you wrap up for the evening, stay healthy, stay kind, and stay groovy. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.